Hello, this is Stuart at vikingcad.co.uk. I'm doing this video to show how I draw concrete reinforcement in three dimensions. There are various people on the internet that advertise that they can do this, but I haven't seen any drawings from anybody. I've seen uh, some masses of reinforcing bars, which uh, are some nice pretty pictures, but of no practical use, seeing as the whole point of the exercise is to produce drawings so that the uh, reinforcement can be fixed on site. I've uh, tried for a while to draw the whole, whole all the reinforcement in three dimensions, but it, it didn't work very well. Um, this, this one to make it clear is that this detail is at 1 to 10 to make it clear. It's, and it's just not practical to do this kind of uh, size isometric view for the whole, in this case, the graph foundation. This was the first one I uh, did, which uh, I just labelled each bar with a leader arrow and uh, the bar mark, which uh, I was never entirely happy with. But, uh, it worked, the local builder, who no doubt did, had not done a great deal of uh, fixing reinforcement in the past, uh, managed to fix the uh, steelwork with uh, no great problems. I generally do displays in 3D hidden, but for working, working on the drawing, it is uh, sometimes better to use conceptual, it's a little bit easier to see that all the bars fit. From here I went on to a slightly different system where I labelled the bars in a similar way to how I would if I was drawing a section with an arrow pointing to the end of the bar and a little like dimension line and uh, this seems to work very very well. Uh, so it's going to take a while to go into orbit because I'm working in one hand. I'm holding the microphone in the other hand. The, uh, all the views can be rotated as needed to uh, go to um, find the best angle. I'll go to kind of top view. Just, uh, Prove that all the bars are, are drawn. That is a, a more typical. So I have to go back to uh, how it was before. Okay, so that was the corner. Here we have uh, the end. Uh, not the end. This is the middle, showing where one of the internal ground beams comes meet the edge. Shows how the bars are going to be come together. Here we have a little cranked detail uh, near a bay window, which was uh, very helpful for me as well, so I could uh, check that the links all uh, all fitted. Sometimes not very easy on an angle to show uh, or to work out how many links will actually fit in, and also the uh, the crank bars. You on plan if you only draw one one bar on one side. Sometimes difficult to see if they fit the whole way across the section, and from here it's very easy to see that they do. I'll go back to my uh, previous drawing. Also, it's very easy to see if uh, bars are missing. On, uh, on this one, these these are special bars that just for this one. One corner. Those, those. If those two links had been missed out, it would equally be quite obvious that there that there were some bars missing. I don't always draw in uh, isometrics. Only if I think there's some kind of detail that would benefit from it. This is one of my uh, later drawings. There's uh, there's no no isometrics there. It's a typical section through uh, the big retaining wall. I've uh, uh, drawn since for the purposes of this video. I have uh, I've drawn some of the bars here. And, uh, 
Good to rotate the arc through in orbit. All the bars are drawn as blocks. So all the U bars in the end when my mouse comes back. So these uh, U bars in the top here, which is a bar mark 12. They're all H10, shape code 21s, all drawn accurately to these dimensions. Bar diameter is accurate. The radius of the internal bend is the accurate. Uh, and obviously all the same. So I've changed some ridiculous changes. Make a hit to a H25 hairpin and redraw it just to prove. It is a block, all the blocks are redrawn and all the U-bars in the top change to this rather large H25. Um, well, it, sometimes it's handy to change the colour of a bar. All drawn by layer at the moment. Occasionally it is uh, difficult to see where a particular bar sits within the mesh so it can be handy to just change the colour of one and uh, change the colour of the bar it uh, laps with and uh, I can't select them but I'm going to move them in an orbit Where's it gone? And uh, you can see that they do actually lap. Okay, so now if I. So that is the uh, end of the presentation. Uh, I'm available for doing reinforcement work at the moment. There's my uh, web address. The uh, the 3D isometrics are done free. We have a fixed price to do a reinforcement drawing, which will be a, a finished drawing uh, using 3D if it's appropriate or 2D if not. Well, one thing I uh, forgot to mention I changed that uh, U bar in this last drawing. If I go into the drawing and see the U bar is one of these uh, H25s. I can just change it, I can just prove that the blocks, if I change it back to how it was before, building generation, everything changes back to how it should be. So, thank you very much. That is uh, vikingcad.co.uk I would be delighted to have the opportunity to do some of your drawings. Thank you.